What is happening to Bitcoin? Bitcoin just made a correction to the downwards. However, it has bounced up from its support zone and it is right now consolidating at the 35.3k level. And yes, I have opened, finally opened this long position for Bitcoin, a 7 Bitcoin, approximately 250k US dollar long. Today, I'm going to be sharing my strategy and you may be wondering, why Mr. Ken, why did you open your long at these price levels? I'm going to be explaining, explaining everything and also we're going to be looking at an altcoin that i'm watching really closely tencent it has made a free x from its lows even if you were to be buying bitcoin from now the maximum gains you're going to be able to return is going to be like a 2 to 3 x or a 3 to 5 x however if you were to be selecting the right altcoins you'll be able to make a return of approximately more than a 10 x today i'm going to be straining my strategies i'm going to be talking about tencent so make sure you watch this video to the end subscribe and let's jump into the video. So, guys, I have finally opened this 300k US dollar long on Bitcoin. And yes, you may be wondering why, Mr. Ken, why the heck did you open your long position at these price areas? And yes, let's look at the Bitcoin price action over here. Bitcoin made a correction to the 34.7k support zone over here that I drew over here. And we bounced up significantly yesterday and we reached the 36k area as a target and right now we are consolidating around the 35.2k area which is a support zone for bitcoin over here so yeah what we want to be seeing over here from bitcoin is bitcoin bouncing up the 34.8k level in order for us to see a continuation and yes if you were to be following me on twitter i have made this post over here i mean yes it's in japanese so yeah i'm thinking of making an english twitter account where I'll be posting everything in English, like these kind of, you know, analysis in English. So yeah, I'll be putting the description, I'll be putting my you know, Twitter description in the down below. So yeah, you'll be able to get access to these kind of reports. But yeah, basically, I was expecting Bitcoin to meet, make these kind of moves over here. A, Bitcoin bouncing off to 34.8. B, Bitcoin bouncing off to 33.3. And see Bitcoin bouncing off to 32.5k level. And right now, we are seeing Bitcoin bouncing off to 34.8k level over here so right now it does look bullish i did kind of thought that bitcoin was going to be making a correction further downwards however we did not see that and if you were to be looking at the daily time frame we are making continuous higher lows over here higher lows higher lows higher lows higher lows so yeah we are making a very bullish structure over here so yeah this is extremely bullish and i don't think that bitcoin is going to be making a correction downwards even if we do make a correction I mean, that will be a massive buy opportunity. So yeah, every dip is, is for you to be buying. And if we were to be looking at the daily chart over here, Bitcoin did make a weekly, I mean, a wick to the downside over here. He has made a quite big wick to the downside. And yes, it is suggesting that buyers are interested in these levels since we are able to see a wick to the downside. So yeah, this is a very bullish movement from Bitcoin. And the Bollinger Bands on the daily are currently making a correction. And whenever we do see a massive move from Bitcoin, it's after we see these, you know, Bollinger Bands expand. So let's see what happened in the past. So over here, the Bollinger Bands were pinching over here. And then after it expanded, we saw that big move to the upside or downside. Ex pinched and expanded. Pinched and expanded. So yeah, you're able to see that Bitcoin does respect the Bollinger Bands a lot. So yeah, I want to be seeing the Bollinger Bands getting more pinched over here before we see a significant movement to the upside. So yeah, I'm not expecting a further correction to the downside. But yeah, as a trader, we must be thinking of all possibilities. So yeah, if Bitcoin were to be making a correction, I think the maximum downside is for is like the 32.5k area over here. And the reason why I'm watching the 32.5k area is because we do have some contact over here. The 32.5k area is an area I want to be watching for a long. And yeah, I do not think that Bitcoin is going to be breaking below the 25k. Even if we do make a correction to the 30k, I think that... I mean, that would be a massive, massive buy opportunity. But just looking at the current price action for Bitcoin, Bitcoin is rejecting to go to the downside. Bitcoin is bouncing up these levels. Even if we do see a correction, every correction is bought heavily. So that is the reason why I opened my long over here. So yeah, that is my strategy over here right now. It is in a profit of approximately $100 over here. So yeah, right now it's nothing. But however, I do think that this long is going to be reaching the next target that I'm watching which is going to be approximately the 38k zone. So yeah, if we were to be reaching the 38k zone, what would the profit be for this? Let's look at what's going to be happening. By the way, I am, I am, by the way, I am trading on Bitget. 
over here and the reason why is because I'm able to get a 30% commission rebate and if we were to be reaching the 38 kilo area I'll be making a 0.5 Bitcoin profit so yeah that will be extremely well so let me just put this order over here it's in Japanese, but yeah, obviously you're able to use English as well. So yeah, let me just switch this into English. But yeah, I'll be recommending BitGit because, I mean, yeah, you get the cheapest trading fees. You get a 40% commission rebate on all trades. So yeah, make sure you sign up on BitGit if you have not. And also on Bybit, you also get a 30 a 30k deposit bonus maximum. So yeah, make sure you sign up on Bybit as well. And yeah, I'll be putting my Twitter account over here. So yeah, make sure you access these reports on my Twitter account. So yeah, I mean... Very bullish movement on here on Bitcoin. However, what I want to be saying over here, the main part is, even if Bitcoin were to be making a appreciation over here, the maximum returns you're able to get on Bitcoin would be like a 3 to 5x over here. Even if it does make it like a 2x from here, that will be the previous all-time high at the 68k area. And yeah, even if it does make an all-time high like over here, it will be like a 3x. Free, free, a and if we were to be looking at the price action of Bitcoin, it's only made a 2x after a year, it took a year for it to make a 2x. Whereas, if we were to be selecting the out, the best altcoins or outside on the market, as you can see over here, Tencent over here on October 20th, you also had the 0.16 dollar area. However, after two months, what happened was that, I mean, sorry, in just under two weeks, it reached the 0.52 dollar area. It made a significant free. X and the reason why it's made a free X is because there are many certain aspects over here. But yes, yesterday the founder of Tencent made this kind of tweet saying that my former crypto inspiration, the founder of Litecoin, sold all of his initial Litecoin coins for a few years ago and explained that move as a necessary for health growth of a project. And yeah, he was angry and I was angry, but I had mixed feelings about that. I didn't want to be defeated. So let me just, you know, sum summarize everything easily. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Dumping all these tokens on the markets, including me, including the including the diamond hand Litecoin holders, wasn't you know respectful. So yeah, I don't want to be doing that. That's what he said. And basically, he sold. I mean, he burnt his Tencent holdings of approximately one point six million dollars to a no address. So yeah, he was holding three million Tencent tokens, but he sent it to a no address, which means that these tokens are were to be burnt if these act this if the tokens were to be sent to this address since nobody has access to this address. So yeah, I mean, he burned all of his Tencent tokens for his project. This is crazy, guys. He so he burned $1.6 million worth of Tencent tokens. And that is the reason why Tencent is currently appreciating. And also, if you haven't followed the founder of Tencent, you should be following them. And yes, over here. This is another tweet that he made. Do you know what makes me laugh? When somebody is asking, will Tencent tokens survive a crypto winter? And if you were to be going to their website up here, the Tencent website, you're able to see that the upcoming burns. So basically, this is the portfolio of Tencent, and they have little stick Ether of approximately 2,400 ETH, NFTs, Bitcoin, BNB, and yeah, they have a lot of cryptos in their portfolio. Maybe if they were to be using all of these tokens to buy back their tokens, they'll be able to burn 79 million tokens, approximately 80 million tokens, which is 100, 163% of the whole total circulation supply. That is massive, guys. They are able to buy all the tokens on the market if they were to be using all of these tokens. And these buybacks have not come yet. And already, Tencent has appreciated significantly over here. So you're able to see that, you know, not all coin, all, not all altcoins are able to appreciate in this kind of environment. You're able to see some altcoins are appreciating, Cardano is appreciating, but yeah, it's only made like a forty percent over over here. And yeah, Ripple is also appreciating, Matic is appreciating, but yeah, you're able to see that yeah, he has not made a significant surge like Tencent over here, whereas Tencent has already made a, like a free X to the upside. So yeah, you're able to see these kind of significant movements from certain altcoins and yes Tencent does have a huge market pool i mean yeah, he has a 1.5 million lp holdings on his pancake swap so yeah Tencent is massive over here they are decreasing their tokens every each and every time it is deflationary they have the utility they have the business model so yeah you want to be selecting the right altcoins in order for you to guys to be able to you know how do you say 
able to you know over overcome you know the majority so yeah even if you just were to be investing in bitcoin the maximum gives you'll be able to find is like the three to five x whereas if you were to be selecting the right altcoins you'll be able to make a 10x or something and yes i am expecting tencent to hit an all-time high and the previous all-time high was at the 6.6 dollar .6 area this chart doesn't show this previous all-time high but the previous all-time high was at the 6.6 .6 dollar area so yeah, it will be like a 10x from this price. But yeah, I think it's going to be making like an all-time high more than $10. So yeah, you can make the mathematics in your own head, guys. So yeah, I mean, Tencent very bullish. He has made a free x and it is appreciating 10% each and every day. So yeah, I'm showing you the best altcoins that I can find. And the reason why you're able to make money in crypto is because you invest in altcoins, not Bitcoin, guys. Obviously, Bitcoin is for the big boys. But if you want to be making a lot of money, you want to be invested in these altcoins and yes altcoins and tencent does provide the perfect solution for you guys because they are a launch pad so basically what a launch pad is basically by locking 5000 tencent you'll be eligible to participate in their pre-sales and yes let's look at their previous returns this project alas gorash made a 9x satoshi Allen 21 fame mma made a 300x everdome 95x medicare 170x 20x so yeah you're able to see that these altcoins are making significant surges from their pre sale prices and tencent does ha make tencent does gives us an opportunity for us to be investing at the initial price so yeah that is what is crazy about tencent it gives us the initial it gives us the initial you know opportunity for us to be investing at the initial price so yeah, they are going to be providing these kind of gems. The next project is coming up in Sep no, February, which is Alvala. And I mean, yeah, despite, you know, these projects have not come out, Tencent is currently increasing, appreciating, has appreciated 3x. So yeah, I think it's going to be hitting the dollar area pretty soon. So yeah, that is one thing you want to be noting, guys. So yeah, I think I've showed you guys the best altcoin on the markets. And if you want to be buying Tencent, you can buy it on PancakeSwap, and if you're not familiar with PancakeSwap, I'll be putting a link for you to be buying Tencent, which is on Gate.io. So yeah, I'll be putting the Gate.io link over here. So yeah, make sure you sign up from there. You'll get a hundred dollars deposit bonus. So basically, I think I'll be wrapping up the video over here. This is my strategy for my long product position, and also for Tencent. I mean, yeah, I'm accumulating a lot and I'm I'm seeing, you know, positive things coming coming around the corner. So, yeah, this is an outcome you want to be watching, guys. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.